life, love, and pop pop culture. Welcome to Life, Love, and Pop Culture. I am Danielle Delgado, and today I am joined by Mel Rodriguez from Fox's hit show, The Last Man on Earth. Hi, Mel. Hey, Danielle. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm on, I'm on a little vacation, which is really nice. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you play Todd on Fox's hit show, The Last Man on Earth. So, first of all, yeah. congratulations on your fourth season. Oh my God, thank you. We, were, we, we got a late notice on that, and like we waited around for a while, so I think all of us were really psyched to hear we got it. Mm-hmm. Um, tell me a little bit about the show for those that haven't seen it yet. Okay, so it takes place in kind of... Uh, future, not too far off future maybe, where um, uh, a virus is hit and it's, you know, uh, kind of decimated basically the entire population and uh, there are Will, Kristen, uh, Melissa, Gail, me, Erica, there are six people left on Earth. Oh, and the babies. Um... <laughs> And, you know, it's how it's it's how these people kind of interact and kind of exist as the last people on Earth. I was going to say, the show's hilarious. <laughs> it's really Oh, thank funny. you. <laughs> I think so, too. I, I, I get a kick out of reading the scripts every time they come in. Well, what drew you to your character, Todd? What drew me to him? Well, I, so, so Will actually wrote the part for me, and he didn't know whether I could act or not, honestly. We had met, we had met on this film in Atlanta called The Watch, and... I didn't say anything at all in the movie. I played uh, Chucho, this character who was his deputy. Deputy, He was the sheriff of his town, uh, Sheriff Bressman. And so we hung out. Really, we ended up hanging out and just like talking and laughing a lot for like three months in Atlanta. And then two years later, I got a phone call from him and he said, you know, no, I really want you to play this part. I wrote it for you, but I just want you to be you. You know, like, I don't want you to like act or anything like this guy is you, you know? And I was like, oh, great. And then, you know, in reading it, um, I was really kind of touched by how, you know, because Todd is just such a gentle, sweet soul, you mm -hmm. know? And I was really touched by it because I, you know, I thought, oh, man, Will really thinks I'm a gentle, sweet soul, which <laughs> is great. Um <laughs> And I guess I am to some some, some degree, you know, it's yin-yang, I, I, I get, you know, it's not like I, well, I guess Todd gets mad too, he's emotional and stuff, and I definitely, uh, I don't know, I feel like the writers have very, now that they know me, they've really tapped into, like, what, like, <laughs> what Todd is, what to, Todd is like, and they've really kind of tapped into me in a lot, a lot of ways. I feel like um, Todd is a lot like me in, in a lot of ways, and but it's something, you know, he's, I was just telling somebody that he's like the Buddha. I kind of aspire to be like Todd. He's always just kind of present and, and incredibly optimistic and really sees the bright side of everything. It's hard to be like, like it's hard to be upset or sad and be Todd, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys have had like yeah. a lot of big guest stars this season. Like who uh, would you love to see appear on the show next? Oh God, that's such a that's a great question. You know, there was talk of Steve Buscemi at one point, mm -hmm. and I was really excited about that. Um, I, I I love his work, and I've never met him, but um, that'd be really exciting. I mean, geez, like like total like like dream list. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to like work with like. It'd be awesome to have Meryl Streep on this show. I don't know if I, she's she's probably booked, um, <laughs> but it'd be great to have like her on the show um i remember one time they reached out to helen moran that would be friggin awesome um god there's so many people i there's so many actors i love mm -hmm. um there's this guy i remember they were talking at one point about michael kenneth williams i don't know if you know he is he's he's just really incredible he was on the night of um um i don't know there's just there's so many yeah um yeah well, maybe in the next season, hopefully, coming back for season five. <laughs> yeah, you know, I hope so. I hope I, I I hope we get to do this for as long as we can. I hope you know, and and, and, and you know, I, I 
I, I, uh, I'd be willing to go for years on this thing. We really, um, I say this in like the most non cliche way at all. I really love all the people I work with. I, I, I love Will for putting this thing together and, um, I love Fox for keeping us on. I mean, I really, but I really, really just love working with these people. And I, I, I really genuinely, I, I, I love each of them individually. Like mm-hmm. we really are kind of a family. You know, we, we spend so much time together and it's just us with the exception of the occasional like guest star, um, that, um, we've kind of had to, we've had to kind of love each other foibles and all, you know, we're none of us are perfect, but I think that's kind of what the, that's kind of what the show is about. You know I mean? Like Tandy's this gigantic moron, but like we have to love him. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> no, I I got to meet you guys uh, on the booze cruise, and you guys were all really sweet. So I can imagine, like, oh, you guys have so much fun. Oh, you were there too. Yes. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. You guys are all really sweet. That was. That was. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Okay. So aside yeah. from the show, you're also um doing a remake of Overboard. So tell me a little bit about this. Oh yeah. So um. So we, we shot that in Vancouver, and I shot that right before this. So it was pretty interesting. You know, we had been on a boat for like a month out there in, in Vancouver, and then we came to Last Man, and we were on a boat as well. But um, it's really great. So the roles are reversed. You know, Lenio is playing the guy that kind of falls overboard and gets amnesia, and Anna Ferris is the person who's kind of playing him, you know? Mm-hmm. And then Eva Longoria plays my wife, and we're kind of, you know, supporting... Anna Ferris in in keeping in keeping the the, the jig up, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. Um, but it's really great. Ulenio is this really I, I don't know if you know who Ulenio Derbez is. He's this yeah. really amazing actor. He's incredibly famous in like Mexico and throughout Latin America. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know he's really started to like make a name for himself here in the United States. But he's just this incredible actor. He's incredibly physical. Just He's, he's a riot. I mean, I feel like he's, you know, more like a reincarnation of Jerry Lewis or something. Mm-hmm. He's just so funny. Everything he does makes me laugh. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's something very, like, very sweetly mischievous about him in person that makes me laugh, too. He's just a lot of fun to be around. So we had a, we had a lot of fun on that, too. And Anna is, is uh, you know, I mean, she's a sweetheart. She mm-hmm. plays a sweetheart and everything. She really is. Um, she couldn't be a kinder, more gentle person. And, and then Eva, who's, I've known Eva for like 20 years. She's, oh, wow. she's, a, she's a firecracker and I love her. Yeah. Oh. Eva was a, an extra on the first movie I ever did. Oh, and, wow. Yeah, you know, I mean, now she's got her own clothing line and I think like yeah. tequila line and. Yeah, she's like, she is really know, blown a, up. Yeah. A force. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. Really quick before I let you go, what do you think your fans would be surprised to find out about you? That I enjoy a good cigar? Well, I think Todd might like a cigar, too. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't... I don't know. You're, you can't separate your characters not, anymore. You're, like, all in one. You are... No, it's, it's very... I, Todd and Mel are pretty similar dudes. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. we're, we're very, you know, we're very similar guys. Yeah. Um, I have a kid Todd doesn't yet, and I think Todd would really like to have a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh God, that's such a boring answer. I, I want to say something like really, <laughs> I want to say something really like thrilling. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think people have this idea of like what actors' lives are like. Uh-huh. And mine is pretty tame. I'm a dad. You know what I mean? I yeah. hang out with my wife and kid a lot. I live in the valley. Um, we get in the pool sometimes and have barbecues and yeah, you know, my life is very, <laughs> and I go to and I and I go to work a lot. <laughs> hey, that's We're great not, people. I get to do what I love. That's yeah. not a bad life, though. That's good. No, it's. I'm not complaining. Trust <laughs> me. Well, it was so nice <laughs> to talk to you. Thank you so much, Mel. Likewise. I look forward to hopefully seeing another season from you guys. Mel, thank you once again for being here. I really enjoy talking to you. And don't forget to tune in next time, guys, as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture.
If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.